Now, let's take a look at the Verona Brothers beauty product and trade show empire, rooted in the notion of faith and family first. They are truly handing down a legacy, kind of like you're doing to me. <laughs> kind of like I'm doing to you. How in the hell can I hand anything down to you when I'm busy firing you? <laughs> and I, you need to work on working hard and not getting fired. You need to practice. Take a lesson from the Bonner Brothers. Look and watch. Learn. Nathaniel Bronner Sr. and his siblings started a small family business in Atlanta, Georgia in 1947. 67 years later, the family business continues to thrive. All stem from a rich heritage of teachings from their dad, affectionately known as Old Man Bronner, who was famous for taking all six boys wherever he went. He never gave us an allowance, so he believed in making us work for whatever we received, and it put the work ethic in us, both training and discipline. And we would get up every morning at 4 o'clock. Kids would laugh at me because I had a paper route. But the thing about it, I got up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I was through by 6. But I made my morning in 2 hours, and they made in 8 hours. So he taught me at a very early age the value of money, the value of working for money, and the value of working smart. In all that Nathaniel Bronner taught his sons, there was an order that still exists today. God first, family second, business third. We honestly came from a line of preachers on our mother's side of the family and a line of business people from my father's side of the family. Both ministry and business are in our DNA. And to me, it says that we didn't have to choose between God and money. We only had to choose which one we would serve. Their international beauty show is the largest show of its kind, with more than 100,000 attendees annually from all over the world. They manufacture and distribute their own product line in retailers like Walmart and Target, making them one of the largest private African-American hair and skin care producers in the United States. Each brother is committed to keeping the family brand and business growing while maintaining individual ventures. The brand extends to the manufacturing and distribution of vitamins and supplements, a premier urban magazine, Upscale, two soul-searching churches, and the Riverside Epic Center, a $33 million multi-purpose facility offering programs and activities for the community. The Bronner Brothers Enterprise is a family business in the business of family. It is these values that help the brothers find a way to keep things moving through the tough times in business and family. No amount of success can compensate for failure at home. The Bronner Brothers' legacy lives on as the next generation is being prepped for business. And this time around, the majority are all girls. Bravery. And I think that was a key element. Not being afraid. If you're afraid, you'll lose your dream. Are you good? not fulfill your dream. We use the strongest word in the English language, I will. And that tenacity gave us the ability to have staying power. I mean, you'd be surprised of what you can do when quitting is not an option. See, I should have had those boys. Accepting the award for the Bronner Brothers family is Nathaniel Bronner, Jr. I am Nathaniel Hawthorne Bronner, Jr. But I and all of my brothers stand on this stage and sit on this stage tonight because of Nathaniel Hawthorne Bronner, Sr. It is because of daddy. Now, we had an awesome mother, but the first thing my daddy had sense enough to do was to marry the right woman. <laughs> but daddy trained us in literally everything. You'll notice that we have a, a multitude of businesses, and they vary the full spectrum. Every one of our businesses came from my father's training. My, my brother who runs Upscale Magazine, he saw my mother and father laying out our annual souvenir book as a child. He saw them producing magazines. 
I formed the largest African-American nutraceutical company in the country. We make vitamin products that are in 15,000 health food stores, but it's there because I saw my daddy taking around teas and tinctures and vitamins and involved in health as a young child. Everything we did, my brother Bishop Dale has a 20,000 member church, but my daddy and mother started church in the house. So all of our businesses, began from the home. And see, we don't have a shortage of black engineers. We don't have a shortage of black CEOs. We don't have a shortage of black lawyers. We don't have a shortage of black physicians. We got a shortage of black daddies. And if you get the black daddies, you get the black CEOs, you get the black companies, you get the black physicians, you get the black engineers. So just to the men today, Women are doing a good job. Men, we got to step up. Because it's going to take a man to put men where they should be. The Bronner brothers are where they are because of daddy. My daddy wore a size 12 shoe. I wear a size 13. But my oldest son, who is 17, wears a size 15. They all walk in daddy's shoes, and if they can't see daddy walking right, how are they going to walk right? So this thing, and, and there's probably a man or men right now, and you're considering walking away from your child and your children. And if you do, they will follow your footsteps. Listen to me, people. Even the greatest man in all of history, who was Jesus, this is the man who had all of the power, who has the most notoriety and famous in all of the world, who's the world changer. Even he said, I can do nothing that I don't see my daddy do. So men, we have got to set examples. Because if you want to produce strong men, you've got to walk the footsteps that they can follow so that they can fill your shoes and even expand them. God bless you. For the, the Trump of the board, entrepreneurship honorees, the Williams sisters, Once again, please give a round of applause for the Trumpet Award Entrepreneurship Honorees, the Williams Sisters, and the Bronner Brothers.